Hi friends, I'm Miss Kat, I'm one of the STEM educators at Boys and Girls Club and today we are going to learn about the human spine and we're going to make a model of it. So the materials you're going to need for this project are some peach rings or some lifesaver gummies, some straws, a pipe cleaner or two, a pair of scissors, and that should be it. So let's get started. So before I explain what are the parts to a spine, we are just going to follow the um, steps and we are going to make our spine. So. I need you to first get your straws and then cut them into about inch size pieces. So about that long and then do it for all of it. All right, now that you have your pieces cut out, you are going to start off by making a little, uh, let's just say bump at the end of your pipe cleaner so that nothing can fall off. All right, so this is my end. So I'm gonna first slide one of the straw pieces onto it so that looks like that and then i'm going to find my peach rings or lifesaver gummies and then i'm going to put one on so now once i have it like this i'm going to put another row of straw on and then i'm going to put another peach ring on And then I'm gonna keep doing this until I um, run out of straw pieces or until I get bored. I realized at this point that I did not have enough room to build my accurate spine. So I just grabbed more pipe cleaners and kept building. So my, I'm going to make my spine very close to the model of a real one. So I'm going to make sure that there's 33 rows of straws so we're gonna wait until i finish that okay i lied i'm not gonna go all the way to 33 just because it's gonna be very long but right now we have a very good model of the human spine and you're probably wondering why is it not really like why is it not straight why is it so you know bendy what is going on and that we are about to find out so let's walk through what each of these pieces mean so the your pipe cleaner the thing that is going through everything that is your spinal cord and your spinal cord is what attaches your brain to the rest of the nerves in your body so without the spinal cord your brain would not be able to send messages to the rest of your body or receive messages so if you were hit in the hand and you didn't have a spinal cord you wouldn't be able to um you wouldn't be able to feel or realize that something has happened you wouldn't experience the stimulus that um is happening at the moment so that is the spinal cord. And then these straw parts in between your peach rings, those are called your vertebrae. And your vertebrae are um, the individual bones that are connected throughout your spine. And so in this case, our little straws, they're pretty, they're a lot more sturdy than our peach rings or lifesaver gummies. And so um, without the 33 little individual bones, your spine would not be the way it is. And last but not least are your cartilage discs. And so your peach rings or lifesaver gummies represent your cartilage discs. And these are the soft um, tissue muscle parts of your spine that allow for movement. So I can sit up straight or I can bend my back over because we have these cartilage discs and they protect your bones from shattering um, or like breaking into each other. And so it's very important that we have all these parts. So now we can move it like this. We also, we have 33 of these little individual bones because if we didn't, we wouldn't be able to bend at the angles that we, we can. So, so if I had like say one, just one um, vertebrae going all the way down, I would just have to stand up like this. I couldn't bend over or do anything because my spine wouldn't be able to move with me. If I had two, then maybe I could bend like this, three, four, five, six, and so on. And because we have 33, they're all able to bend. And so you can bend all the way down. In humans, because we have these bones in our spine, this and that uh, we have a spine in general, this means we are a part of the classification of animals that are called vertebrae. And vertebrae have bone spines that are that are able to protect and support them. And so, animals that don't have this kind of spine are called invertebrae. And so, for example, most bugs will be invertebrae because they don't have a spine made out of bone to support and help them move. They have either an exoskeleton or a different type of. Um, support system. So now that you have built a model of the human spine and you've learned a little about the parts, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed making a human spine and I hope you have a wonderful Halloween tomorrow 
and stay tuned for more STEM videos.